Hello everybody and welcome to a new Let's Play of Medieval Laws Build, Defend, Expand. Um, first things first, I'm playing this on Windows 7, and to get a game to work on Windows 7 requires a bit of a, uh, well, a few things that you have to do. So, the first is you have to download a patch to actually get it to work at all on Windows 7, and the second is to modify some file names and change directories. I can't remember exactly what you do. Um, if I find the patch or a tutorial on how to get that to work, I'll put it in the video description. Also, I don't know what this is, uh, but that's not going to be in the main menu. It's going to be in the entire game, so live with it for now. I can't fix it. First things first, um, this game is old, it's from about 2005, um, it's, I, I, the, I can't find a English Let's Play of it, with actual commentary, uh, there's a very good, um, with no commentary, and there's probably a few others, but I don't think they're in English. Um, anyway, um, one thing I'd like to point out, unfortunately, is that if you go into Options, uh, you can see I've got the graphics on full. If you change that to low or medium, it doesn't fix this weird resolution greeny effect thing. Um, Furthermore, there are only two resolutions that you can choose from, which is a bit annoying. Um, but you probably notice that there's no changing controls, which is a bit annoying. Fortunately, the controls are fairly distinctive. The only downside is the fact that WAS and D does not on the map. Instead, you have to use up, down, left, and right, which is annoying, but not the end of the world. Um, now, if I go into the campaign screen, um, you'll notice that I have actually played this game already. So, this isn't a completely new save, a completely new installation of the game. Um, completely new installation of the game, you would get this tutorial level, this level, which I think is included in the demo of the game, released whenever, 2004 or whatever, and this level, and that's all you get. You have to do more levels to progress, and there's the tutorial and there's seven levels in total. Um, like I said, this game is old, it's from, well, fairly old, it's from 2005. Um, it's, there's a lot of downsides to this game, um, but then again, there are a few things that I like about the game. I like the whole concept of being a medieval game, building game, uh, managing your own city and village and whatnot. Um, but the downsides will become apparent as you watch me inevitably fail. Um, I'm not going to do the tutorial um, simply because I how to play the game, and I can kind of explain how to play the game by simply playing the levels myself. Um, I think I'm, even though I think this level's easier, I think I'm going to do this level, um, simply because it was the level that was included in the demo, so if anyone has the demo, that's the level that you get. I think it's kind of intended to be the first level. Um, there isn't any real plot to this story game. Um, you kind of just do the levels in any order you really feel like it, but that the game lets you. And it's kind of a plot, but it's not very good in my opinion. It's the idea of like father, but it doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. Maybe I just didn't pay attention hard enough. 
Um, there is a review of this game that came out about by IGN, who gave it 45%, and you're probably thinking, that's harsh. Um, if you read the review, there are a lot of points that they make, and to be honest, I agree with a lot of them. I mean, the game isn't great. It works, provided it doesn't crash on this recording. Um, uh, but they do make a lot of criticisms of the game, like, for example, the game's called Build, Defend, Expand, but the game doesn't make it entirely easy for you to build, um, as you'll find out. Um, there's three difficulty settings and a customised difficulty, but I've never played on any, I've never played on easy, so I don't know what the difference is between easy and average, and I've never played on difficult either, so I can't say what the difference is. Um, I'm just going to play on average because, to be honest, the game is quite difficult in itself. Um, easy might be too easy, and difficult would probably be too difficult for me. So I'm just going to stick to average. Um, I feel I've said about everything um, that I can say before hitting play, so I'm going to hit play. Um, objectives for this level are rebuild the lighthouse, which won't make a lot of sense at the moment, but there's a lighthouse obviously and you have to rebuild it, and to do so requires certain um, things for you to do before you can actually start rebuilding it. Um, and reach 6,000 people, which is actually the easier of the two objectives. Basically, you, once you've rebuilt the lighthouse, that's it. The main objective is to rebuild the lighthouse. I don't know why they need a lighthouse, but this game just requires a lighthouse, so... Yeah. Um, so I'm going to hit play and hope it... Actually, I'm going to stop recording and then I'll see you in about, well, a few seconds. Um, right, so, yeah, I'm going to hit play and let's get going on average difficulty, first level. Tells you what's going on. Um, right, so first things first is you have to build. Oops, you have to build a dungeon, um, which kind of acts like your main base or your headquarters. Um, later on, you can have more than one dungeon, and if the main dungeon, which you select which of your many dungeons that you may have to be your main dungeon. If the main dungeon becomes uh, destroyed, you lose the game! Um, so protect the main dungeon with everything. Um, so, go to territories, you can see this island is where they want you to start. Um, it's the only island that you can actually really build on. If you do build here, then you do get these houses. And this harbour, which as far as I can tell from playing this map experience, does nothing! Um, I'd like to apologise at this point. I am recording without a proper microphone. So the audio quality might not be the best of this recording. Uh, hopefully quality will be enough because I'm using fraps um, but the audio is controlled by the in built which probably isn't of best quality I'd probably get better quality if I used the control microphone um, I don't have one so I'm sorry about that the audio quality is probably not that 
hopefully it's good enough that you can still kind of understand me. Anyway, um, going back into the trees. Uh, this is an enemy base, but fortunately because they're on an island, they can't get to us unless we build a bridge here, which we inevitably will. Um, there's also these guys who kind of like the main enemy. Um, but again, they'll only attack once we build a bridge connecting up to the island. And finally, these guys who are what we call brigands. Um, or bandits. They attack you if you've connected up to the island. Um, they usually just raid, they don't kind of go after your main dungeon. Usually they kind of destroy a few farms and a few houses, which is really annoying. Um, but what happens is, over time, they like to annex territory that isn't theirs, which, if you have buildings in, and they successfully annex it, uh, a timer appears, and then you have to defend because they're going to attack. And if they're successful in their attack, the territory becomes theirs. Um, they don't actually do anything with it, they just literally means that you can't use it. And if they're unsuccessful, you reclaim the territory and then they have to kind of annex it back. That only applies to brigands, and you can tell that they're brigands because they live in this tent type village thing. You can see they've got 520 troops, which is not that many, but they can be a pain, especially when they annex here, and here, and here, because I'll probably event I'll eventually end up wanting to build here. Um, unfortunately, these four villages type places, they don't ever... Um, they attack you, but they don't annex. I'm not sure, this might be a fiefdom. If it is a fiefdom, I'll explain how that works later on because that's a bit different to just a regular base like these guys. These guys are pretty pathetic, to be honest. To take over. Um, to be honest, I have found this game the hardest part of it is, seems to be the beginning. Um, and if once you get going, it gets easier. But then there are a lot of things that can kind of fuck you. Well, not literally, but uh, disasters such as like corn and farms and pigs dying, rotting away for whatever reason. Which, unfortunately, is like random, so you can't prepare for. Uh, game design mechanic. Because the thing is, it's like you can be brilliantly, and then your corn farms decide not to work anymore. Meaning that you have a lot less food, your people starve, and there's not really a lot you can do about it. Um, so depending upon the disaster, it can impact you greatly or it can impact you not at all. Most of them are annoying. None of them are beneficial, um, and you can't prepare for them. Fortunately, you can never have two disasters at the same time. Um, although, well, not that I know of, anyway. Anyway, so let's get going. So you can see I've got my dungeon here. Um, and then immediately these become my houses. So we want to build some vegetable farms to get some food. Um, there are... This game's quite complicated. Like, you can't deal with a lot of wild ideas. Um, Opulence. Um, so, for instance, if you click on a house, it tells you what they want, and the one in red is what's lacking. So, what I've just done is I my main dungeon. I've got these um, got these houses. Uh, it's quite hard to play on comments at the same time. I've got these houses, but they're lacking serenity to develop. So, what I want to do is 
build a carpenter, which you can build straight away, which is a technology building, that means access to later buildings. So now that the carpenter's built, and it's got enough workers to function, uh, you need to build a calvary, which gives people serenity and peace of mind. Um, which means that they'll develop more, which means they'll pay more taxes, but they'll probably also food. So it's kind of a balancing act, you kind of just have to do everything. Um, to make sure the people have enough water, which they do. Um, do they have enough food? Which we're currently losing food at the moment, which is a bit worrying. Um, hey. So I'm going to build some more farms. Uh, see, this is what I mean, like, you must place this building near the house. But then your building is too far away from a road, so can you build where the game really lets? It's really annoying. Um, I'll create this to a wood. Station. That means that people will feel more secure. You can see there's 50 soldiers in there. Um, 50 soldiers get given to you free, well not for free, you to pay for them, but you don't have to recruit them. They're just there at the game start. So if I build more houses. This function probably isn't going to make a lot of sense. I mean, one problem with this game is it's hard to comment because it's quite fast paced. Um, I mean, there is an element of strategy, but a lot of the time I kind of just, I kind of just play and hope for the best. Um, I just build road all over the place. See, ah, that finally. Finally, for the first time since actually starting this game, um, I'm making money, which means it's in black, not in black. And we've actually got a food surplus. Um, so that's good. Now, what do they want? I want health. Well, to build health... Graveyard. Um, to build buildings requires money to actually build them as they are, using effects, but then you also have to pay money on upkeep. So you can see I'm making 78, well, 120 per turn. It's fluctuating rapidly per turn. Um, cheap. It costs 30 to build. We have more than enough to build. It costs 3 per, I think that's per, yes, per month in maintenance. So you can see we're paying 33 per maintenance, making 150 in soldiers are fine. We only have 50 soldiers. In this game, soldiers' wages are really low. It seems to be about 0.1 of a gold for every soldier. But then they require a lot of food. Each soldier requires 1.2 food, so you really need a lot of food. For a big army in this game, you need a lot of food. Um, and the main source of food is in the cornfields, but like I said, you can you have to be wary because there will be disasters to say, oh yeah, like your cornfields have stopped working. Um, which is important. Also to make sure that they have enough workers. So I'm going to build some houses here. See that our that hammer and that hammer means they don't have enough workers. Um there's some fish in the ocean here, which means I can build a fishing hut. And another one. Fishing huts give you food, who'd have thought that? Uh, yeah, see this uh, this greeny effect? I can't do anything about that, really, so. Fish, fish, fish. Um. Yeah, that needs a well. See, there's no water there. I mean, they, they do whine a lot, but at least they kind of tell you what the matter is. So... Uh, there's no storage building. You need to build a barn. Barn store food. Um, they do decrease serenity or faith. So you don't want to build them close to your... Uh, close to the populace. To be honest, these populace can. 
They don't really matter because the only purpose is to work the food. And you can see we've got a ton of food. Um, we're not making that much money. Can we do to improve the houses? Serenity. The problem is, is hen houses they do decrease serenity, but they give you quite a lot of food. Um, there we go. Just got enough serenity, so it's progressing to the next level. Which it just did. But, um, that means we're making more money. Uh, up. More houses make you more money. Um, these are level 4 houses. I have another level 4 house which could build another house. Another one there. Make some more money. Um, once they do. Then I can build a blacksmith. Can't build a mason in this mission. For reasons. Fortunately, these guys have a mason, so that means that we, once we uh, invade their land and take over, we can steal their stuff and take over their mason. Um, building the blacksmith costs 100 gold in upkeep, but we are losing money because of the construction of the black cube smith, but uh, yeah, you can see we're still making money. And we still have quite a lot of food. And one advantage of this level is because we're on an island, we can just literally build up. We don't really have to worry about being attacked. Uh, did I get all those fishes? Why do I feel like I didn't get all the fishes? There's a fish there. I think I got them all. So. These guys want serenity. Uh, ah, now that we've got the blacksmith, we can get more stuff. So these guys want health. Witch's house increases health uh, because witches. Um, so once that's built, that'll increase the health. Probably won't increase them to level 5 because I'll probably find something else. Matter. Yeah, they need more serenity. If I build a flower garden. Oh! There you go. Level 5 houses. Yeah, but they still want more serenity. Can't build a mason. Can't build a wooden chapel because that requires. Um, I'm going to build a flower garden. Fuck's sake. Right. Yeah. There's no place to build this, I can't. Annoying. Weird grainy resolution here. It just follows you. Like, it's here, and then it's here. And now it's here. It's just everywhere. I can't really. Okay, let's press. Speed the gain up. Uh, these guys want to. Probably next to the mace. This is the health radius. The radius of which increases health is greater than the radius. This decreases the sanity. These guys won't be affected as much by the sanity loss. Still being affected. Build a wooden statue. Which I've already got. Sheep in the area have been struck by a yeah, so sheep are now less effective. They produce 25% of what they normally would do. Um, and that lasts 720 days. You can see climbing up there. Year always starts in one. Which is ridiculous because uh, historical accuracy of this game. In later missions, you get missions where the sat thumbs are together, uh, which would be okay if the game was set in the 5th century AD, not the 11th. And then you also get the Vikings, and the Moors, and the Saracens, so yeah, there's really no history to this game whatsoever. That's only a minor point. I can't 
kind of just using cultures that people... Right. Oops. Hang on. Well, we could be doing with more money. Uh, we also need more food, I reckon. I'm going to eventually need to build up some soldiers. Uh, yeah. Uh, food and wealth. Wealth? Houses. And on some fields. Vegetables. Vegetables are good because they provide food, but they don't decrease the uh, serenity. Uh, you see, build the new houses, they start off level 1, but then they just immediately. If you build them close to the houses, yeah, and oh dear. See, we're now losing food. But we're making more money. So, um, if I build. Uh, see, I'm not going to build any sheep. Houses. And build some. Oh, let's go with sake. Right. There. See, it keeps saying it's too dry. I'm going to here, and then find fertility. Brown areas means that, like, you can't build. So you can't build it here. And then you can build it in the green areas, which is more fertile. Or, let's, and let's build a hen. Or a hen house, rather. It's too dry. There. It's really a balancing act between making enough money so that you can support your soldiers and actually and making sure that you've got enough food. Um, and the reason I don't really like this... Well, I, I like the game, but one reason why it's annoying is the building aspect. So these are level 3 houses, but because I just built one of the pigsties, their serenity is going down. So they're going to decrease to level 1 houses. Not really a lot I can do about that, to be honest. Um, I'm just going to quickly save the game. Uh, I'm going to call it... Uh, LP1 Let's Play 1. Uh, oh dear, the population is decreasing. Probably because these people are happy with big stars. So we got a lot of food, because I've just built all this. We are making money, so I'm going to with some soldiers. Soldiers coming back to 50, so I'm 250. You can only recruit 250 at a time. Uh, you can get infantry and cavalry. Cavalry. I think cost more in food and upkeep. Probably a bit better, but to be honest, I I think it's fine. Oops. I'm going to put. You can have a maximum of 100 soldiers in a dungeon. So I'm going to have another 50 to make that into 100 into the dungeon. And then there you go, recruit. You've reached the maximum number of troops for this building. Fuck. Um. Now. These guys still want help. If I build another witch's house, I don't know how much difference that'll make. See, blah, blah, blah. Because, I mean, that's got a limited radius, but I'm going to build it here and just see if it makes any difference. Oh, no, let's complain about serenity. Serenity, serenity. Yeah, serenity is the problem. So we don't really need Um. Well, you see, I'd like to build a flower garden here, but I can't. So I'm going to convert this vegetable garden into a flower garden. And a cheaper pack. Oh. Right. There you go. Um. So these are going to develop for the next one. Oh. 
Serenity. Not a lot I can do about that because of the... Unless I manage to fit in a... Nah, I can't fit in a... I can't put a... Oh! oh. Hmm... See... Just build a wooden snap. Right. We're now making a fortune in cash and we've got quite a lot of food. Can we get any more? Uh, too steep, too steep. We must place the building so how? It's too dry. No, it doesn't look like it. So I'm going to build cornfields. Cornfields generate a lot of food. Uh, but they have to be built next to or on or very close to roads. And they also have to be... They have to be a certain size that actually lets you build them. So big enough that it lets you build them small enough that they're not too big. Lord, I know that's this game. I suppose it stops you having a cornfield that's like the size of an island. Uh, so this doesn't have enough workers apparently, so... Build a house here and a house here, make sure they're watered. Yep, they're good, they are good. They'll be level 1 because Serenity is awful. But the main thing is, they give you enough workers. Actually, enough serenity for it to be level 2. That's a bit weird. Anyway, um, we have a load of income and... Ooh, there you go. See, the soldiers, when they're in the barracks, not doing anything, they can't attack and they can't defend. They're utterly useless. I think you have to pay for them if they're just in the barracks. But you don't have to give them any food. Lord, now that they're out of the barracks, uh, they need food. So we're going to have a food shortage because I want another 50, 500, so I can take these guys on. But I could probably beat these guys as they are because they only have 350 troops in the entire place. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Each one of those will have 50, so there's probably none in there. Um, the problem is, is if I just take over this village, I'm probably going to make less food. I think one thing about the AI is they can bases that make no sense. So like, they can have a thousand troops. If you had exactly what they had you would not be able to afford food and the gold upkeep for them. I do cheat in this game. Um, ah, now you can see here, that was flashing in the corner. Oh, for God's sake. What that was was, the Vikings are coming. If you pay them 3,000 gold, they will leave you alone. Um, we have more than enough, and we make a lot. That comes up every now and then. Each time it comes up, it's... I think 500 more, so it'll be like 3,000, 3,000. But if you have enough, pay them off because they're really not worth it. I don't think I've ever actually declined, and I don't know what happens if you do. I'm guessing they just attack you. I think they. Well, they definitely come from C. You see, this is another problem. You build, but only where it lets you defend against an enemy that you can't attack physically attack the Vikings, you have to and expand against an enemy that cheats. Those thoughts are basically in the uh, IGN review, which if I find I'll link it in the video description below. So anyway, um, I'm just sitting idly by. I need food. That's what I need. I have more than enough. Um, build anything. I may actually, you know what, I'm going to save the game. Um, these are my previous saves, obviously, from. I said at the start, I've played this game before. On average, like. Fuck. So, because I don't have a mason, I can't build a stone bridge, which is more expensive, but it lets you build any 
length bridge. So in theory, you could build a bridge from, well, like here to here. But because I don't have a mason or an architect, which you can't even get in this level, um, I have to settle for a water bridge. Not a water bridge. Like so. The cheap. Um, but there is a limit to the length you can have. I really wish more food. Uh, build an orchard. Build food. That doesn't make any sense. I wish I had more food. Um, vineyard. See, it's saying it's just simple and expand and. Bingo. It really is trial and error. You Around. You do end up with some very interesting shapes for your fields as you kind of try and squeeze in another cornfield. Proof of construction. I think that means it's too dry. Yeah, too dry. Too dry. And there. Uh, right. Enough workers, no barn. No, there's a barn, there's just not enough workers. So I need to build a house. That'll satisfy. There! Right. So now, we have enough food. But we don't have enough. We have, well, we have enough food, we don't have enough food to 200 more. Three hundred and fifty soldiers out of a maximum of four hundred and thirty. It's kind of annoying because it's actually a maximum of four hundred because you can only really train fifty at a time. So the only way that would happen is if I had four hundred and fifty, then twenty died, or if I had four hundred twenty died, so I had three hundred eighty, and then I got another fifty. Um. So the three hundred and fifty soldiers consumed four hundred twenty food. So yeah, that's uh. 1.2 food per soldier. So, at the rate I'm going, I do have enough food for the 200 bit soldiers. So, yes. Go all out. Another. Actually, nah. Nah. Full 250. And I want to build a few more houses. Pig styes. You can't build here because the soldiers are there. Yeah, the soldiers don't just move out of the way, which is kind of annoying. Okay. Um, that might have been a mistake. No. Because I'm not sure... No, th surely those pigsties will just more food than the houses required to... Yeah, there you go. Maximum number of soldiers in so there you go, 450 out of 460. Um, and now if we just position our troops, you can't build them, you can't put the troops close base like that, so you can't build them, you can't put troops right here, uh, you have to put them like outside this circle here, not circle, but you get the idea. Um, so put them here, doesn't really matter where you put them. Because one another annoying thing is, you can you tell the troops where to start, and then once they actually set up camp, you can see it's grey because that will set up camp. They haven't done it yet. Um, yeah, once they set up camp, you can have up to two troops per. Um, you can have as many troops as you want as long as you've got enough space. Those guys to get to there. You can see as soon as you plonk down the first troops, countdown timer begins against the village brigands. Um, countdown time is different for each uh, each individual enemy. The base that you're playing at, I think this one was about 60. Well, it's not even seconds. 60 time units. And yeah, there you go. I'm not controlling these troops. 
So yeah, the military aspect of this game is rather limited because they just literally do their own thing. They need to destroy this in order to win and it's looking like they're probably going to win. Yeah, they've won. There you go. What happened there was they, they came in, they destroyed this gate, which I'm going to repair, and actually I'm going to improve it to a fix. See, a hotkey to repair. There seems to be a hotkey to upgrade or improve. Delete hotkey to destroy. Change the controls, and there doesn't seem to be a way of actually. You know, there's no way to control, change the controls, or actually view the controls. So, and I could make this my main dungeon if I wanted to, but I'm not going to, because I'm perfectly happy with this being the main dungeon. Um, so, since I have no real use for these guys, I'm going to disband them. Uh, I think the, uh, I had a group of 250 and I had another group of, I think it was 250, no, 200. I think they must have died, group left. Um, put that to a vegetable garden. Their base makes no sense. They, there's no way have enough food to support this populace and the amount of troops that they have. Anyway, they need serenity. Uh, so let's build a flower garden if we can squeeze one in. Like. That's ridiculous. You have to just squeeze it in. Pretty sure that house. Or rather, is impaled house. That well, because of the three things, looks like it's got a load of flies. Quite funny. Um, no, that's, that's like fishing. Fishing. Build more fishing. Uh, right. One here for those fish. They've, they've annexed this land. So, basically, if I build anywhere... I mean, I can't build here. If I go anywhere on this island, I'm either going to have to deal with these guys, I'm probably going to take these out first, or these guys. I mean, these guys are really easy. They've got a fairly built-up base. They have a mason, which is nice, because I'm going to steal it. They've got fish... Um, yeah, really, the base makes no sense. I mean, they have a ballista, but the dungeon's there, so the ballista can't defend. It's doing nothing. Literally, doing nothing. Um, they don't have a hunting lodge, which, as you can see, like deer. Um, ah, the cows are only producing 10% non productivity. Doesn't affect me! I don't have any cows! Um, I just rely upon... Uh, 3500. Pay them off! So, since it was last three... Since uh, they last came, it was 3000 and now it's 3500. But in that time, I've made 15,000. So yeah, the fucking... That isn't really a problem, unless you're barely making any money. Um, it's not really a problem. You just pay them off every now and then. If you got the cash, which you should do, because... Something really expensive, and you're making no money. Anyway, um... Right, so these guys want... Wolf. How much... We have a load of food, and we have a load of gold. Um... Well, I'm going to save again. But I think I'm actually going to end this part here, because it's probably been quite long. I think it's going up to the half hour mark if it's not past it. 
Uh, especially with my introduction, I did ramble on for about quite a, quite a long time. To um, so, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, share wherever, and tell your friends. Hope you've enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next video. Goodbye!